Uh, guys, guys, can you hear me? I can't really hear myself. Hi, I'm Edward from the Concordia Quartet. We are well into the circuit breaker period now and you can probably tell from how like long my hair has gotten. Our quartet is currently experimenting with the Jamulus software. The initial troubleshooting phase has ended and now we are well into actually rehearsing with the music. Just now you would have heard a short snippet from Borodin's very lovely second string quartet. Uh, we're really really excited to be able to play music together again, but the fact that the initial troubleshooting phase is over doesn't mean that everything is ideal. The Gemula software is pretty cool. Uh, it allows us to practice in an environment with close to no lag. The trade-off of that is that it is an audio-only software. That means we can't see each other at all. And that leads to some uh, very interesting problems or very interesting challenges and we've had to come up with very creative solutions. One and two and... Now you've just seen one of the solutions that we've tried to one of the challenges that we face. Since we can't see each other and then that means we can't actually breathe together before we start, someone will have to count us in. I don't know, it feels a little bit strange to me. I feel like a primary school band director every time I go one and two and... Right? But for the moment, I think that's the best solution that we have. The second challenge is that while Chamulus reduces lag, it doesn't eliminate lag entirely. And that means that if we play exactly with what we hear, we'll actually be a little bit late. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Is this... Do you think I'm rushing? Yeah, I, 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 from where I'm, from where I'm sitting, it sounds like I'm almost like one beat ahead of everybody else. Yeah, but I'm trying to stay in tempo, yeah. Well, after a lot of trial and error, and mostly errors, uh, we found two things. We really have to anticipate, and we've got to play early, and that means we need to know each other's parts very, very well. The other thing we need to do is we need to have a really strong internal sense of pulse. Most of the time, it's okay for us to just react to each other and uh, play according to what we hear, but sometimes what we hear is deceptive, and so we need our internal sense of pulse to be really strong. Now, really ironically, it's when we can't see each other that I start to move a lot more when I play. And I think that's because when I move, I sort of internalize that rhythm, and, well, it helps me to keep my rhythm, and hopefully, you know, that makes my playing really clear for everybody else as well. And I asked everyone else about this and they all say, yeah, they find themselves moving more when we can't see each other. challenge that we face is that we're not exactly using the most optimal equipment. Uh, we're using whatever headphones and earphones that we already own and whatever mics that we already own. And for most of us, they're not exactly very high-end. And what that means is some of the finer details of what we do gets a little bit lost in translation. In some cases, some really, really important things also get lost in translation. Yeah, also at 248, Matia, uh, I couldn't really hear you there. That's why you were playing the loudest. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe it's an equipment problem because, uh, yeah, I couldn't hear anything in that bar at all. Apparently, we will be receiving some better equipment quite soon, and we'll be trying that out. Uh, I am really excited about that because I think that will really, really enhance uh, the quality of our rehearsals and enable us to do 
many more things that we couldn't do today. Whatever the case may be, I think I speak for the whole quartet when I say that right now we're just happy to be able to meet each other virtually during this period and continue rehearsing and doing what we love.